religion. Okay, that's probably a turnoff. But what if I were to tell you that Charlotte Bronte rewrote religion just like she rewrote male-female relationships? Would you give me 60 more seconds of your time? Let's be honest. Charlotte Bronte did everything she could to make religion pretty unappealing. The first super-religious guy we encounter in the book, Mr. Brocklehurst, is abusive and a hypocrite. He forces the orphans in his care to endure horrible conditions, and all in the name of making them better Christians. Meanwhile, his own daughters live the lives of princesses. Then there's St. John. He's not a hypocrite, but he's egotistical and self-important. Even worse, he tries to convince Jane to marry him and become a missionary two decisions that would require Jane to be disloyal to herself. So what's Bronte's deal? Is she against religion? Not at all. But she does want to get rid of the kind of religion where men know best and hypocrisy reigns. Remember that Jane never abandons religion, but she does find a middle ground. As she thinks through the examples of religion that she encounters, she clings to spirituality even as she rejects oppressive and self-important faith. Maybe call Bronte's theme enlightened religion. Better yet, call it thinking for yourself.